It's a rainy day here at Drive Pink. Well, at least it was a rainy day. Here is the parking lot. The yellow lot flooded, but clear skies for tonight's game. They brought out some new security today, some mounted police. Look how cool those horses are. Tonight's game here at Drive Pink, it's Inner Miami facing Sporting KC. Sporting KC's had some issues, uh, you know, not the best results uh, so far this season. But question is, this is the first game this team has played without Messi. Inner Miami is Messi free, Messi list. Messi's missing. Messi's gone for this game. How will uh, Inter Miami play tonight is a good question. And better question, what will the crowd be like tonight here at Drive Pink? Do people show up? Have they really bought into Inter Miami or are they just Messi fans? We're going to go take a look and see what the, uh, what the turnout is tonight and what's new around Drive Pink. Here we are in the fan zone. The fan zone is definitely more crowded than it has been in the past. We got a table tennis thing here. We got people getting Celsius over here. All the sponsor tents are in here. It's uh, pretty crowded it's, uh, in the uh, the fan zone today. So that that's a good sign. So when you enter the fan zone, you peer against this wall. This wall has a brand new mural. It looks like it was done by Vic Garcia. This mural is where they they had the old mural where it had all the season ticket holders named so this is a new mural obviously uh, promoting baptist health which we'll get over there in a second looks good looks good but I, I gotta admit i'm a little upset that my name is no longer here when you come in close you see there's lots of like words and symbols painted all over here i don't know the story behind it but we got goal we got a, a four nothing smile, all kinds of, uh, of words and symbols here. It says, live healthy. Yeah, I mean, my name was right around here somewhere as a season ticket holder. It's been painted over, but at least, hey, it looks good, did a good job. We get the other, ang other side here. Now we'll get the Baptist Health logo with Enter Miami. So what do you guys think? Do you like this mural or do you like the old mural? I guess it doesn't really matter because we've got the new mural, but just what are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments what you think about this new mural. Is it an improvement or what? The lines are still here for all the merchandise. So whether uh, Messi is here playing today, fans do look like they're still showing up. Still, if you wanted to buy merch, you can't really get in the store unless you want to wait in a pretty long line that stretches all the way back there. It's kind of like you're in Disney. So, suggestion, go to Canesware. Get your merchandise there. Taking a closer look at this team store, one thing that's interesting, I got these uh, cool uh, new bucket hats back there. One thing that's interesting that I did notice is they are selling the old white jerseys. This looks to be like the old jersey from your, uh, the first uh, away jersey, or first home jersey, actually. They're selling for $129.99, and they're just throwing Messi's name on the back. Me, personally, I don't want to buy a year one jersey with Messi's name on the back because he's never worn that jersey, and he's not going to because it's now an outdated jersey. But people are buying it. I've seen several people with it. We're over here by the Heineken bar, one of our favorite places to go, but clearly you can't really sit around here anymore. Like my brother was just saying, the space here where you used to be able to watch uh, the, the field and everything, they had, they had tables there, are gone. But new here is they've got this new uh, scrim or banner material covering up the back side of these temporary stands. These are those corner stands that they've added since Messi. Looks better now that they've got the, uh, the branding there for the Herons and for Heineken. Looks much better. All right, here we are. Game's about to start. Stefanelli on the field. Robbie Robinson on the field. Players that haven't seen a lot of time getting a chance tonight with so many people getting called up. Campana getting a good start, and they are off. So as we were talking earlier, what will the crowd level be like on a game where there's no Messi? As of right now, I don't know, half full maybe? 
maybe, maybe I don't know, the, the west stands are pretty empty. My wife is saying she thinks it's pretty full. And you were being negative. Pretty full. The, what, maybe 60% then? Compared to how it used to be before. All right, all right, I'm hearing people telling me they think maybe it's about 70% full. So less, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of people didn't show because Messi's not here, but it is better than before. That is for sure. Starting off the game early with Kansas City getting a, a nice corner opportunity. And Calendar gets it. Nice. I missed the goal, but Calendar had a good first stop, but bounced right into the feet of an oncoming uh, Kansas City player. So far, the defense still, like, like often, looks a little disjointed. Jordi Alba uh, was yelling at, um, or frustrated with, uh, Mr. Glass a little bit. They're not on the same page. If you got to feel bad for, for Drake. Here we go in the attack. What can Farias do? Ah, I can do nothing. The team is looking frustrated out there with each other. You know, players yelling at each other. Saw Yedlin getting upset. Jordi Alba's having a, a night of frustration. Uh, look like Campana getting upset Ooh. with Robbie Robinson. Robbie getting the oh. All right, it looks like we might see a yellow. We might see a yellow. Will we, or just getting a talking to? Just a talking to. What? That loud, crazy lady screaming is my wife. <laughs> oh! Campana is hungry. Looks like we might have a penalty. Campana got laid out. I know I didn't catch it on video. But Campana got laid out by the goalkeeper. Hopefully he's going to be okay. He's on all fours. Looks like he'll be all right. Kapana. Kapana's gonna take it. Here we go. He didn't get the call up for Ecuador. I'm happy for that. Starts flying over in the supporters section. The north stands, fireworks happening, smoke flying, fans are happy. So the question I've had all game is what kind of fan support would this team have without Messi? The stadium has about 30 minutes in, the stadium is filled in nicely. Uh, it's definitely not sold out. There are definitely some seats missing because there is no Messi. But corners are starting to fill out. Uh, the crowd yeah. is electric, that's for sure. They're, they're having fun tonight. See everybody up on their feet as we go into another attack. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Get it. Nice. Yeah. Miller is having a good game. Even though we gave up a goal, Miller is still having a pretty good game. Kansas City getting booed in the corner as they take a corner kick. The game's been pretty back and forth. Calendar with another good save, but of course they get another crack at it. Ooh. The pop, uh, calendar got me a little scared there. Uh, just coming, they're coming at him constantly. Well. Ref trying to calm everybody down a little. The game uh, is getting a little testy. Capano <laughs> with a goal. <laughs> Two for Capano.
Kapana. The header by Kapana. Let's see if we can see the replay. I thought Yedlin had forgot the ball there for a second. Always got to get the ball in the air. Kapan is lethal in the air. Now at halftime, we get a different view of the crowd. Long lines for food. Long lines for the store. Pretty proud of the fans tonight. It is a pretty good crowd. No, it's not sold out like it is when Messi's here. But it is a pretty good crowd. About maybe 70 to 80% full. I'm not exactly sure. I'm terrible at numbers. But just looking at the crowd, judge for yourself. It's pretty full. And when you think about it, it's like the atmosphere here. The atmosphere is great. It's been, it's been awesome here tonight. Uh, fans are loud. Fans are excited. They're everywhere. You know, normally the row that I sit in is normally empty before Messi. Uh, so mess, no Messi tonight. The row's full. People are having a good time. They're really engaged. So great atmosphere. What, you know, forget about the highlights I'm showing. What I, I hope to really show you is the atmosphere. It's amazing. And you got to come out to Drive Pink. If you haven't done it already, you need to come out. Second half is underway. Can Campana get a hat trick? Can he score another goal? We need another goal. Inter Miami is known for giving up goals. So they definitely uh, need security, need, need some insurance. Come on. Oh! What kind of shot was that? Is that Mr. Glass? I think that was Mr. Glass. Screwing that one up. Still rusty. Will Robbie Robinson be back next year? Yeah, he's so injury prone that it's doubtful. Here we go again, though. They're hungry for that next goal. Second half corner. It's getting loud. Everybody's bumping. I had to lift my drink because everybody's shaking the stands. Sign said stomp, everybody listen. Well, that corner amounted to uh, nothing. to get on the action today. Jumping in, rallying to finish this game strong. Come on! Oh, close, close. Farias is trying to claim the handball. I don't know. Oh, keepers are uh, you know cramping up. Not used to this Florida heat. Crowds rallying. Sunderland getting subbed in. He's uh, the new recruit. I just came up from Inter Miami 2. I think he's played one other MLS game, so it's not his first MLS game. I think he's 
He's come in on a short-term loan in the past, but this is for his chance. People speak highly of him, has done well uh, as a midfielder with the Inter Miami 2 team. So he's going to get his chance here. He signed a contract for the rest of the uh, year with the first team. So it's not a short-term loan this time. He's uh, got it the rest of the year. Suddenly getting his first touch to Campana. Play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. But they're still attacking. There you go, Yadlin. Get in there. Get in there. All right, good effort. Good effort. Holy cow, Kansas City's coming out of Inter Miami hard. Corner kick now. And yes, it's that time of the day, that time of the game, where South Florida fans decide we should go and beat the crowd. Happening on both sides, little by little. People are getting up even more, even more over here. These fair weather fans. Stay till the end of the game. We paid money, see the whole thing. Oh, Calendar, thank you, Calendar. Six minutes, we have six minutes of extra time here. Stay in that ball, Calendar. Waste as much time as you want. Referee was just looking at his watch. It's about ready to blow the whistle any minute, any second. But this game is exciting to the last second. Oh, they're gonna still looking at his watch. They're gonna get in on the corner. Maybe this could be the last opportunity for Kansas City. Another corner, another corner. This game just won't end. Game won't end. Fans are not happy about it. And the referee finally blows the whistle. That's it. Inter Miami wins. Three to two. Pink smoke going strong. Messi's kid and uh, other kids, other player kids or whatever, are celebrating the win with a little game in the end zone here in the north end zone. Look, he's got some skills. I think that might be Messi's kid right there. He uh, he signed with the academy, so. Uh, He's schooling everybody. Look, they can't get the ball away from him. They can't get the ball away from him. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, uh, is he going to score? Is he going to score? Oh, he's it went in. So with that win, Inter Miami and now has 28 points. What? About six points behind the line for the playoffs. They're in contention still as long as they keep winning. This game, this game I said before was a real test for Tata. What kind of uh, lineup would he put out? Would they respond? I mean, he's having to, you know, work with the scrubs to some extent. You know, we've still had a couple of our two big signings playing that, uh, and Jordi Alba had a good game, speaking of one of the signings. But Tata, great job putting out the right team, and they responded. 3-2 win. Let's keep going. Post game, we have new messy caps for sale. After the game, we're used to seeing a lot of uh, merchandise out here so far today. That's the only thing I see, just some messy caps. Um, there aren't as many, uh, or any for that matter, jerseys being sold post-game. Usually we see a ton right around here. And with that, we are done here at Drive Pink. Inter Miami comes away with a victory. 
hard fought match, man. They uh, Kansas City came at them tough. A hard match played. A w- we got a win without Messi. We got a win without Messi. This was a great uh, coaching job by Tata and the team. Team Campana. Campana wins uh, man of the match, scoring several goals, and uh, you know, great job by by the entire team. So. Thanks, everybody, for watching. This is a fun night. If you haven't been out to Drive Pink, what are you waiting for? Come out and see a match. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.